Hi guys, my name is Ryan. I'm the creator of Lasagna Boy, and I just want to thank everyone who played the demo or even bought the game. Um, it's kind of crazy how people are still checking the game out uh, and playing it today, uh, even if, even though it's been out for um, almost a year. Um, I'm just kind of making this video to touch base, and uh, since it's been a while since the launch, and I want to let anyone who cares to know what I'm doing or what's going on with the Lasagna Boy. I uh, I also kind of want to tell the backstory of Lasagna Boy and why I made it and kind of how it came to be. Um, so basically, Lasagna Boy is my first real game, or at least the first real game that I finished. Um, I had messed around with Game Maker like way back in the day. Um, I had made some uh, crappy games um, that barely worked or functioned, um, but it was uh, just kind of a hobby. Uh, eventually, I ended up uh, going to school for graphic design, and that ended up taking a lot of my time. And I really focused on becoming an artist and honing my art skills and not so much my programming skills. So, uh, flash forward a few years, uh, after I finished school, uh, me and my buddy, a uh, buddy of mine, we get this itch to make a video game. Um, his background is IT, and mine is art, so we kind of make a, we get this idea that, you know, he can do the programming and I can do the art and we can make this game. So, uh, we start working on this uh, this game on the free version of Game Maker. So uh, we work on this game for a while. We get a lot of basic stuff done for this game, and uh, or at least the beginning of the game. And it was we can't we got to a point where we decided that we should really get the studio version before we uh, get too much farther and end up having to backtrack um, a lot of the work we do um, if we actually really wanted to publish this game. So we both go ahead and we drop a hundred bucks on Game Maker Studio 2. And uh, immediately after that, my friend ran into a lot of personal stuff that made it so that he couldn't or didn't have any free time to work on this game we were, were making. So there I was with this, uh, this brand new hundred dollar program um, and nothing to use it on. And I thought, you know. I remember messing around with Game Maker back in the day, so uh, I started making this game, sort of based off an old game that I made in in the uh, the old uh, uh, free version of Game Maker years ago. I relearned uh, a lot of the basic stuff that I had forgotten about uh, when using the old version of Game Maker. Um, so I just uh, kind of messed around making this uh, new game. And uh, I learned a lot about how uh, Game Maker Studio 2 works and uh, a lot of uh, the extra features that you got with that program. So, flash forward to last year, I'm flipping through some memes on iFunny because I have no life. And I remember I was waiting on my tire that had had a flat and it was getting fixed. And I was uh, sitting in a coffee shop uh, across from the uh, tire place and I, I see a feature of Lumpy Touches Gorefield. And I saw a lot of people wishing that this game actually existed. And I thought, you know, I could probably make something like that. So, just for the heck of it, I made a comment asking if I made this game, would anybody buy it? And a lot of people replied saying that they would, or something like, uh, do it, you won't. Anyway, my tire was ready to go, so I left the coffee shop and I went on with my day. I was heading back home for the Thanksgiving holiday. And I just remember having this itch to, to make a Gorefield game. And I got this idea of how the gameplay could work. So over the Thanksgiving holiday, I started working on a very early, very crappy version of Lasagna Boy. I kept working on it in my spare time when the holidays were over. And uh, I was able to finish the demo around Christmas or New Year's. A lot of people played it and YouTube videos started going up and I was like, okay, the pressure is on. I gotta make the complete game. So for several months after that, I 
worked on the game tirelessly after working my day job and uh, I kept adding new stuff adding new content my st my skills with programming were still garbage but I was learning a bunch of new things and how to use Game Maker Studio too. I was really trying to push myself to, to make something great after I'd seen a lot of the videos that the YouTubers had made and saw a lot of the comments I, I really tried to push myself to really live up to the expectations of what everybody wanted this game to be and it was about a month or two before the game was finished that I started to realize that deep down uh, this game wasn't going to be good enough that people probably weren't going to really like it but at this point I was just completely burnt out and I, it was like either I have to push through and finish this game or just give it up completely and so I pushed through finished the game and then I launched it so the game comes out and people start to play it and youtubers make videos on it and it gets the response that deep down I, I knew it would and to be honest I, I can't really blame uh, the response and it's not like everybody hated the game it got a lot of people thought it was okay but it just didn't really live up to what everybody was hoping for and I know what a lot of the issues were there was too much copy and paste too much repetitive gameplay backtracking I wasn't able to put as much detail into the enemies as I did with the first one, but at that point there really wasn't much, a lot I could do. The game had come to a point where I felt like if I changed anything, even some minor things, it would it could probably completely break the whole game. And that's kind of how programming works, it's kind of a nightmare. But uh, I can't be mad when people say that this game is boring or isn't what they hoped. It would be because honestly I feel the same way it does kind of suck though when you pour six months of your life into a project like this and then hear that it's boring or that it's mediocre but honestly uh, the criticism is good it really pushes me to do better and that's kind of why I'm making this video I want to make lasagna boy again so yeah uh, I got something new in the works um, sort of a demo um, might probably won't be able to drop anything till next year sometime I'm really taking my time with it uh, I want it to be uh, very impressive when it finally does drop uh, so when it does it'll be worth the wait um, so if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on itch.io um, I plan on making more stupid little update videos like this in the future probably if I get the time I don't know so if you're interested in seeing what's going on with me um, with our trashy rascal studios uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll see you guys later bye oh and I almost forgot um, I'm gonna make the original lasagna boy free uh, also thank you everyone who bought it Sorry if you bought it recently. Um, yeah, Merry Christmas. Bye.